Hi, third graders. We're going to uh, check our answers for DLA day two, week one. So make sure that you've finished your work before you check the answers. So if you haven't already, get out your red reading folder and make sure that you have your DLA day two. We're going to go through the answers. I'm going to grab a red pen down here. All right, let's look at the first sentence. It says, what time does the game start? So you should have had a um, taken your pen and made three little lines under the letter W because it's the first letter of the sentence and we need to start every sentence with a capital letter. The next problem we run into here is the word does. We need to spell that D O E S. By the way, I'm writing with a mouse, so it's really hard to make my handwriting really neat, but hopefully your handwriting is neater than mine. So what time does the game start? And because the word what is a question word, it's asking for some information. So we're going to put a question mark at the end of our sentence, and then we're going to circle it. All right, then you should have taken your pencil and rewritten the sentence correctly on the line with all of the changes that we made um, when we were editing our sentence. So I'm not gonna rewrite the whole sentence, but you need to make sure that your sentence is written correctly. Make sure you have the capital W, you spelled the word does correctly, and you put a question mark at the end of the sentence. All right, let's go to the next sentence. Do your homework now, please. So again, you should have had a capital at the beginning of the sentence. So we put three lines underneath it to show that we needed a capital. And the word please is not spelled correctly. So how do we spell please? That's right, P-L-E-A. <laughs> oh, sorry about my writing, S, B. And then do is also a question word, but in this sentence, it's not asking us for information. It's telling us to do something. So this is just going to be a, a period for your punctuation. Do your homework now, please. Then the next direction, oh, then I'm sorry. Then, of course, hopefully you got your pencil and you rewrote the sentence correctly with all of the changes that we made. So make sure you put a capital letter for the D, you put, um, you spelled please correctly, and you put a period at the end. Okay, the next part, circle the word that is spelled correctly in each row. In this case, we have the word place with the soft C and the E at the end of the word. When a C and an E are together at the end of the word, the C says a soft sound, like a S. So over here for letter B, it says plaque because it doesn't have an E at the end of the word to make the C soft. So that is why letter A is correct. So if you got that right, get, give yourself a star. And also up here, if you got these right, go ahead and give yourself stars for those as well. All right, the next one, the letter, the word that is spelled correctly is foot. We have our double O sound here that says uh, foot. So if you have that one correct, give yourself a star. All right, the next direction say, write two words that rhyme with the following word. And this word is deer. So when we're doing rhyming words, we're looking at the ending sound. And in this case, the ending sound is ear. Now, when you're doing rhyming words, the sound needs to be the same, but the spelling does not. So here is an example. If I am looking for a word that rhymes with deer that does not have the E-E-R, I can use, oops, E-A-R. So in this word, the word is gear. And I spelled the ear sound with an E-A-R, gear. Another word would be like tear, like a tear that comes out of your eye. You just replace the G with the T, tear. So that is one way to find rhyming words that aren't spelled the, with the same sound, but the, or it's, they're not spelled the same, but the sound is the same. 
And an, one that is using the double E would be a word peer. And the word peer is actually a verb. That means it's an action word. And it show, tells us like when you're looking really hard, you're peering at something. Whoops. Sorry about that. I'll just erase that. All right. So we have a word spelled with the E-E-R at the end of the word. So double check yours and make sure that your words, the two words that you wrote, rhyme with deer. Okay, that's it for day two. So now you should be working on day three, week one, and I will post your answers for that tomorrow. All right, good luck, boys and girls.